Bonjour, je me présente. Je suis Hello, my name is Arnaud Touré. I'm a pre-sales engineer at AMD in the Professional Graphics Group. And today I'm going to show you something which is known as iFinity. The configuration which we have is a single support for six Samsung HD displays. Each monitor supports HD resolutions and the six displays are connected to a single graphics card. In other words, the graphics card has six outputs and each monitor is connected to the card. For the moment, we have a configuration in which each of the six displays is independent from the perspective of Windows 7. When we look at Windows, we see that we have six different HD displays, each at a resolution of 1920 by 1080. We can open Catalyst, which is the tool for managing all the AMD graphics card configurations, and we can see our six displays. Thanks to Catalyst, regardless of the order in which the displays were connected, you simply rearrange the displays via drag and drop into the configuration you desire so that you have a continuous display area and can move from one display to another without any problem. In this configuration, each display is independent. If I start a video, I can resize the video and it continues to play on the different displays. However, if I maximize the video, it maximizes to a single display because Windows considers each display to be independent. A special feature of Ifinity is precisely the ability to overcome this limitation, which is generally encountered with two displays, such that a single system can drive six displays with a single graphics card. A special Ifinity benefit is to make Windows believe that there is one single display, a kind of virtual display, which is equivalent to six times the HD resolution. So, I will create an Ifinity display group I click on Create Group and choose the Display Arrangement. Here, the 3x2 configuration. I accept. The monitors are reinitialized. The displays come back on, and the group has been created. I am asked if the display order is correct, and I say no. Ifinity shows me the different displays in blue for me to select. It asks if the position is now correct and I verify the ordering of the displays. It is correct. I reply yes. Now we can compensate for the bezel, which is the distance in between the displays. We have the possibility to compensate for this distance using a tool in the driver, which means that a straight line remains straight when it crosses displays. We have a small assistant which appears to compensate the bezel. It is just needed to move the form so that the straight line remains straight. Normally, you can take a ruler or a sheet of paper to check the alignment. In the other direction, it is not at all correct. And there. All is now correct. The bezel compensation is finished. And that is it. This time we have a single display for Windows. This we can see thanks to the bar at the bottom, which crosses all of the displays. And if we now look at the Windows property, Windows sees only a single display with the resolution of 5908 by 2246. Now, why 5908 by 2246? That is not 6 times HD. But since we compensated for the bezel, this has deleted the space between the displays and results in this resolution. So the advantage now is that if I launch the video again, Wildlife, and set it for full screen, the video now expands to all of the six displays and no longer just on one display, because for Windows, there exists only one single display. It is the same for a 3D application. If I start the 3D application and ask for a full screen window, there you have it, the application runs on all six displays.
and we see that the graphics card drives six times an HD resolution. The animation is smooth, the image is beautiful, even if we are running at an extremely high resolution.